Hey guys, welcome back to another Terraria 1.2 NPC video. This one is going to be about the Witch Doctor here. It's that open eye. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Let me hear about it, but I can make you embody healing. Huh? That's interesting. You get him by defeating the Queen Bee in the in the jungle hives that you can find in underground jungle. He sells just a couple things: the imbuing station and the blowgun. The blowgun is basically an upgraded version of. Uh, Oh, what's that one? The bullet pipe, I think, or something like that, that you can find in surface chests. I'm not sure really how good this is. For five gold, I feel as though it's got to be pretty good, so... Uh, I don't have any seeds, though, right now to try it out. Uh, I suppose I'll buy that for future use. Get this stuff out of the way. And then we have the imbuing station. Craft weapon imbuing fuss. I actually don't know anything about this either. Pretty much all this stuff, I'm still very much so new to this update, so most of the stuff I'm doing, I'm figuring this stuff out as I go along. I'm gonna take your table away. Put this in here. Looks fancy. What is, uh... So it is from a crafting station. Uh... Hmm. Probably needs glass bottles. Let me... Let's do a bit of, uh, bit of experimenting here. If I can't figure out what this stuff does, Within, you know, a few minutes time, I'll go ahead and just uh, cut away and look it up. I'm trying to avoid looking things up. Probably should have done this ahead of time, but I don't know. I like I like showing stuff off as I discover it. That's just that's just me, though. So, what am I looking for? Look for sand. I'm also very unorganized. Like, very unorganized. This is very unlike me. I'm not sure how I live to get to this point, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna turn all that into it. Glass. There we go. We have bottles. They're flasks, so I assume they use bottles in some manner. Let's put this down somewhere too. Oh, what does actually set in that? Okay. Uh, Alright, now let me go ahead and head to the guide and see if I can place any of these, and either the glass or the bottles, into, uh, into his guide knowledge brain thing and uh, see if he can. See if you can help me out here. And we are killing him a bunch, so probably be good to help him out. Well, I mean, it's not really helping him out either, so. Uh, okay, so nothing here. Let's see what we got for bottles. Honey bottled water. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I might, I might need bottled water, actually, too. Uh, oops. I might need bottled... You might need to be... Uh, to make the flask, I might need water inside the bottle, so let me just look at some water quick. Mm, give me that. I want it. It'll be useful in the next video. For, uh, is this actually enough water? No, it's not. Okay. I should be able to drain this, though, into uh, a little pond that might be of more use. There we go. No, that. Let's grab all those. I don't have... I could have made 20... That's weird. I have 19 bottles of water when I'm pretty sure I made 20, 20 bottles. You make them in sets of two, so I don't... That's weird. Did the guide take one of them when I put them in? Did he... Is that a glitch? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, alright, now we have the bottled water. Let's see if he has any more knowledge for us. Alright, oh, so we've got these potions. Any potion? Oh, that's... God, he shows you stuff even that you're not even close to getting it. A lot of potions here. Uh, ah, here we go. Yes, this is what I was looking for. These flasks here seem to be able to uh, upgrade your weapons. That's cool. Let's see. Flask of party. Simple melee attacks cause confetti to appear. What? Just need confetti. You actually get those from the party girl, so I might... Uh, I might make some of those, actually, and try those out. Flask of nice... Confuse enemies. I'm not sure what those are actually. Cursed flames. Yeah, this is this is cool. So these are all for uh, for melee weapons. Is there any of these I can make now that I have that I currently have the the equipment for? Uh, health. No, I don't think I have enough right now. That would be a really good one though. Although I mean, my sword already probably kind of sets things on fire. <laughs> stingers. Do I have enough stingers? I'm not sure. Hmm. That's cool though. I do like that. Oh, 
So I'm not sure. It said 15 minute duration, so it seems like those aren't permanent upgrades. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna have to look into these a bit more. I think I can try out this blowgun now too, if I get some enemies. It flies pretty fast. I, I feel so that's just not a very good form of offense, especially not if you're strong enough to defeat the Queen Bee. You probably have stuff that's better than that already. Uh, do I have stings? I don't know. I don't think I have enough Hellstone right now. Not ore, at least. Uh, let's see if I see any stingers. Uh, rats. I don't think I do. Well, I suppose I could, you know, head down into the... First, let me get a weapon that isn't already, you know, flammable. And try it on. Try it. Yeah, that'll be, uh, we'll see how that combination <laughs> works. An ice blade that sets things on fire. So I'm going to go and get some Hellstone. Uh, okay, I'm back. I have some Hellstone now. So I, I see... Yeah, here. Oh, that's right, I took the table out of there, so that's not... Okay, that was kind of stupid thing. Anyway, so yeah, I have the Hellstone, now I can go ahead and make a flask of fire. Okay, so how does this work? Do I just, like, drink this, or...? Consumable, yeah, I would appear so. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and... drink that. Hmm. But yeah, there's definitely fire on it. It looks cool. Oh, the ice balls are... Oh, that looks awesome. Even the projectiles it shoots are on fire too, that's great. This doesn't work for those. Any other melee weapons I could try out? What about this? Yes it does, wow. Oh yeah, I have the beekeeper too. I forget I still have it. I don't know why I'm still carrying this around, but... That's pretty awesome actually, I, I quite like this. Can, I wonder if you can use multiple at once, I'm guessing you can, I don't see why, I don't see why that would be an issue. I have the crimson here, see if I can pick a fight with some, uh, some enemies in here. Hello? Anyone? No takers? Let's go ahead and just hit this guy. That's pretty uh, that's pretty awesome. I I approve of this feature. I wonder if the bees are on fire. I don't think so. I forgot how great this beekeeper is actually. This is such a good sword. I mean it's not really anymore, but I, for the longest time this was like my go to sword. But, oops, phone star. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, this is pretty cool. I, I definitely approve of this. Especially since that works for any melee weapons, so even uh, the boomerangs, like thorn chakrams, flails, anything like that, you can imbue with a whole bunch of neat effects. And I'll probably try out the, uh, the confetti one a bit later, too, because that's another resource I have readily available to me. I should, I'm going to try that now, actually, yeah. I mean, not the Party Girl's video quite yet, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and buy some confetti from her. I wonder if yeah, and then that'll also be a good opportunity for me to see if uh, if the effects of these stack. I'm guessing they do. I mean, you can just like use one of each, and then you have super power weapons. Uh, someone I didn't think all these new NPCs would actually have like significant usages, but I don't know. This is this is some pretty cool stuff. Yes, this confetti. I think this is this is an ammo. No, material. Okay. Some of that. Uh, head back over to the Buma station. Obviously, I'm not going to leave this here. I just kind of put it there for now. So, ah, there we go. Flask of party. A great name. Check that. Ah, oh, you can't. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. But okay. So now, what is? Is it? Oh, so every time I hit it, it makes confetti. Does that actually like do stuff? I don't. I don't think it does. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy to get once you have the uh, the party girl, so it doesn't surprise me. But that's, I don't know, that's. I certainly find it entertaining. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, actually. Does it work for the. It does. That's. Is that considered a melee attack? I'm, I'm kind of wondering that. I mean, obviously the sword damage is melee, but. Kind of the same thing with the the Star Fury. I wonder if uh, that's that's considered uh, melee damage or not. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I definitely enjoy this thoroughly. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be so great. All right then. So that's that's another awesome feature. 
might be something I actually consider using too. I wonder how I could utilize that against the wall of flesh effectively. Even just having my... Well, no, because pretty much all my melee attack weapons I would think would do fire damage anyway, because they're literally, you know, made of fire, but you never know. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this, stick around. There's still going to be two more coming up right, you know, recorded one after the other. I'm probably going to be recording or uploading these fairly close together as well. And uh, like, comment, subscribe if you if you enjoy this content enough, especially uh, comments and subs. I I appreciate it, especially because uh, comments at least help me to to overall better my channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.